So, having identified the vehicle as an MGZR and that it is fitting diagram number two, and we now know that the adapter fits in the seven o'clock position, we now need to apply it to the vehicle's headlights. As, as explained in the instructions, we always refer to the dipped headlamp bulb as the reference point. So the first thing to do is to switch on the vehicle's headlamps and find out which one is the dipped bulb. To be fair, in almost all cars, the dipped headlamp unit will be the outer section of the headlamp, but there are exceptions, so please do check on, on, on the headlamp by switching it on. We've now identified this outer bulb here as the dipped headlamp unit. Obviously, we ignore the side light, and often you need to be aware that the dipped headlamp bulb will be hidden behind a silver cap or shroud, as is the case with this vehicle. Now, as we found from the instructions, we're going to fit in the 7 o'clock position down in this bottom corner. So the first thing we need to do is to leave the headlamps on to warm up so the adapter will stick securely to the headlight and just give the headlamp a quick rub to remove any dust or dirt residue. Then switch off your headlights so that you don't blind yourself as you go to apply the adapter. Now what you'll notice on a lot of vehicles, and this one included, that actually they only use the round part of the adapter, not the complete unit. So in this case, the easiest way to separate them, because the material is quite robust, is to hold the adapter and the wing either side of the, the join line in the centre and just push them past each other and that will cleanly tear out the circular part of the adapter. Once the adapter, the, the circular section is removed, as being used in this case, just flex the back of the adapter and you'll see there's a crack line through the release paper behind the adhesive. Please peel the release paper from this crack line, it'll avoid any damage to the adhesive layer below. We then kneel directly in front of the car, directly in front of the headlamp at eye level because that's how our diagrams are drawn, and we apply the adapter, in this case, in the seven o'clock position on the headlamp, and then press it firmly around the outer edge to ensure it's securely affixed to the headlamp. A Couple of things that often we get asked in this situation, the most common question is, why on earth am I fitting the adapter in this bottom sort of left position here, when actually all the light's gonna be going across the road, up and to the, the, to the right? The answer is that the reflect is actually the reflector unit at the back of the headlamp that creates the headlamp beam pattern and therefore it's actually a mirror. So even though you're trying to stop light going up and away in that direction, actually you fit the adapter down and in this direction. Another thing we get often asked is do the headlamps use opposite fitting positions? And the answer is generally, although there are exceptions, so please do check your diagram. Generally, no. So if it fits in this bottom left corner, the seven o'clock position as we called it earlier, on this headlamp, it will also fit in the seven o'clock position on the other headlamp. One further question we get asked is, exactly how accurately does the adapter have to go on? Because it's quite difficult to look at the diagram and see that in relation to your headlamp. As long as the adapter is on within, say, around about a 10 millimeter variance in either direction, that will be absolutely fine. You will remove enough of the dazzle causing part of the beam to ensure you're still safe and legal. That completes the fitting instruction for this vehicle.